What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and today on the channel I'm going to be addressing a very interesting topic in the metal guitar community. We're going to be talking about pickup output and which pickup is going to be right for your guitar when you're playing metal. Now traditionally the school of thought has always been if you're going to be playing metal or any sort of heavy style music you're either going to go with active pickups or you're going to go with a medium to high output passive pickup. And there's nothing wrong with those styles of pickups. I love both of those pickups and some of my favorite pickups are both in those categories. Although there's something that I've noticed about certain guitar manufacturers when they are putting pickups in their metal focused guitars or some of their guitars in general that are catered to the metal audience or with some of today's best players in metal as well as some of the guitar heroes of our time. And the thing that is tying all of those together is low output pickups. Now specifically Ibanez is putting non-metal pickups in some of their guitars that are a little bit more metal forward and as I've said earlier with a lot of guitar players switching to lower output pickups, guys like James Hetfield, Kirk Hammett switching to lower output pickups because apparently there's something magical about lower output pickups that we're all trying to Fun. And that's what I'm going to be doing today for you all here. I've recorded a song using a Ibanez 7 string tuned to drop G with DiMarzio Path 7 pickups. You're going to see on screen right now that this is a very low output pickup by comparison to some of DiMarzio's other offerings and some of the other pickup manufacturers offerings in terms of high gain pickups. But something that's very interesting is the tone chart on this DiMarzio 7 string Path pickup. It's that it does not have a lot of low end and it seems like the mid range and the high end is kind of articulated in a very interesting way that actually might work pretty well for low tune guitar. So there's only one way to find out if the low output pickups are actually going to work for metal or not. Let's hear it in a full demo mix.
So now well before I had the idea to make this video and record this whole song and everything like that, I've always been curious to know why certain guitar companies like Ibanez aren't putting the most high output pickups in their guitars, especially when a lot of metal players are using them, and especially now when players are actually turning to lower output pickups when they are playing metal. And honestly, at the end of the day, after doing this video and recording the song, I'm honestly blown away about the sound quality and the kind of tones that I was getting with these lower output pickups. Especially when you're working with these lower output pickups and you have a five-way switch or you have a push-pull setup to access maybe single coil or phase off. That's when the very interesting tones come out and that's where these pickups really shine, as well as having that lower output to really handle the low tune guitar so, so well and the low end is actually not going to fall apart as it might on some other high gain pickups where you actually have to roll that low end out. These pickups are very articulate, they're very clear. might need an overdrive just to give them a little bit more gain, but honestly who isn't running an overdrive in their modern rig anyways. And now with all that aside, I don't want to knock the high gain passive pickups or the active pickups or anything like that. I love both. There's a lot of pickups in both camps that I really like, but I'm honestly just blown away about these pickups and now I get why there's a lot of players going with lower output pickups, and especially with guitar manufacturers using lower output pickups in their extended range guitars or just a lot of their guitars in their lineup as they just work for so many different applications and they aren't just so focused on one particular genre or style of playing. What I hope you get out of this is that maybe you're going to consider lower output pickups for your guitar. They don't have to be the DiMarzio Path 7 string or anything like that. That's just what came in this guitar stock. Although I am sure you're going to have fun trying something new and working outside of your comfort zone in terms of getting a metal guitar tone. And with all that being said, thanks for checking out today's video. If you like the guitar tones and if you learned something new, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you learned and what you liked about today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, consider subscribing. I have tons more videos like this on the channel as well as other guitar related topics. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time.